Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We are gonna have a chat with Farron Brago here. Ah, oh, Rangers, what a pleasure. I heard you were in town. It must be, what, 20 years since we crossed paths. Oh, not that any of you would remember that, of course. You were probably just kids when Vargas and Angela Death and the rest helped me save Vegas. Okay. And I hear we have you to thank for Cassidy's fine clothiers being back in business. My couples and I thank you. If not for Cassidy's, we'd have to settle for second-rate suits from the bazaar. <laughs> but mm. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Farron Brigo. Welcome to Little Vegas. My recreation of the glories of the town we lost. Perfect, isn't it? Mm. You know An An Angela Death and General Vargas? Thanks. You've given a lot of class. Sorry, it's not our kind of place. Is this nightclub legal? You know Angela Death and General Vargas? You haven't heard the story? Hey. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Twenty years ago, Vegas was being overrun by robots. A nightmare. Then Angie and Snake and their squad showed up guns a-blazing and saved the day. Heroes, every one of them. Helped me consolidate control of the city, too. Mm -hmm. Of course, 15 years later, the robots came back and destroyed everything. But you know all about that. They attacked you, too. Anyway, that shared history makes me happy you're here. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. Uh, is this nightclub legal? <laughs> you think the Patriarch would let an illegal business operate right on his doorstep? <laughs> Everything I do is approved and on the level. I'm even a member of the Chamber of Commerce. Okay. But enough about me. How are things with the Rangers? Is uh, General Vargas still in charge? I'd love to give him my regards. We owe him and his team a lot. Yes, Vargas is still the boss. We told him, we'll tell him he's hello. Sorry to say, Vargas is dead, but his sacrifice saved all of Arizona. Little Woodson's in charge now. Vargas and most of his team are long gone. Sorry to say, Vargas is dead. But his sacrifice saved all of Arizona. Hmm. I'm thinking of lying here. To stay, to possibly make him like us. Rangers, you're disappointing. Ah, uh, crap. I already know Vargas died saving Arizona. He was a man of honor who would do anything to help the people he'd sworn to protect. But now I'm glad he's dead. It would have broken his heart to know the next generation of rangers were Damn liars. It. And pointless liars at that. Now, what can I do for you? We're helping the marshals with an investigation. Could you answer some questions? What that, what's that painting behind you? Why did you move to Colorado? Tell us about Rural Vegas. Hmm... Tell us about the Little Vegas. Uh, I know any attempt to recapture the past is doomed to failure. But I had to try. It's not quite Vegas, but it's close. And since I can't go back, this will have to do, won't it? And besides, the customers don't know it's a pale imitation. To them, this is paradise. All of Sin City behind one door. Okay. Um, why did you move to Colorado? Like I said, 15 years after the Rangers saved us, the robots came back. Deadlier than before. We held out as long as we could. But without help from the Rangers, the end was inevitable. As to why we came to Colorado? Well, we heard some rumors of the good work the Patriarch was doing out here. Creating a stable, prosperous society. That's exactly the kind of environment a business like mine needs to flourish. So we packed up our roulette tables and hit the road. Okay. Uh, what's that painting behind uh, you? Ah, yes. Had that painted for my office back in Vegas. Before the robots came. Not a bad likeness, eh? I guess not. Okay, so we have a perception check here. 
That painting was commissioned before the robots came? That's 20 years ago. How's it you don't look a day older? Guess that's flattering him. Thank you, Rangers. That's very flattering. Yeah, but it was. It's not so much that I have an age, but more that the cares and woes of running Vegas back then made me old before my time. Since I've come to Colorado, I feel 20 years younger. Okay. Hey. Uh, we're helping the marshals with an investigation. Could you help answer some questions? Certainly. Ask away. Uh, Kissass, you're a connected guy. Do you know anything about who let the Dorses into the city? We have good information that Delgado is being held in your back room. That's all for now. Hmm. Let's try Kissass. What? I don't want those kind of connections. Murder in the streets is bad for business. If I were you, I'd be looking for someone with a grudge against a patriarch. Not exactly a short list, I know, but... Uh, we have good information that Delgado is being held in your back rooms. Good information, you say? That's better information than I have there. Nobody told me nothing. But I'm sorry. I can't let you go back there. My property, my rules. And if you try it without my permission, my capos will defend my property by all means necessary. Understand me? Uh, all right. That's all for now. What a shame. Today. Nothing I like more than a good grilling. What else can I do for you? Uh, goodbye. Good luck. Okay. So, we needed to find those lockers. There's nothing up here that we can take or anything. Oh, man. I love dancing in this place. It's the best. But I've heard a rumor that... Ah, oh, there's a door there. I totally missed that. Oh my god. Tell me everything. One, six, eight! One, six, eight! Local 168, booyah! What's local 168? Hey, remember how I blew that Dorsey's brains out? <laughs> What are you rents doing in here? This is a private party. Man is huge, scarred, and smells like a distillery outhouse. He sways on his feet. Uh, who are you? What are you celebrating? We need to get in the safe over there. A guy asked us to retrieve a package from it. Sorry to bother you. Enjoy your party. Who are you call? You're calling lunch. You are going to garter. Uh, what are you celebrating? Defending Colorado Springs and beating those toothless shit kicker Dorseys to a bloody paste. He raises a whiskey bottle and turns to his friends. Local 168, let me hear you! Woo! His friends howl and pound the tables. Hey, who are you? None of your fucking business. Oh, they're mercs. Okay. Happened to be in town when the Dorseys attacked, so we paid him to help us out. Nice to see him putting the Patriarch's money to good use. Uh... Who are you calling lunch? You're going to go there. smiles. I'll glimpse you. Oh, ho, ho. so you've got some cojones. Well, if it's a fight you want, the local 168 are happy to oblige. Hard ass, you're always way tougher than we are. <laughs> Beware of worthy channel. Don't waste your time on weaklings like us. Wait a minute, we're not looking for a fight. Mm. I don't want to tell him that we're weaklings. Too late for that ass breath. Get him, crew. Okay. One, six, eight. All right. I guess we're in a fight. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he didn't care that he started burning at all. They've spotted us. Okay. Let's try and take him out. Ooh, prepare. Hawk, come up here. 
and give him a whack. Can't do that yet. Let's defend. Zeus. Uh, come over here. Forty one per cent, sixty six per cent. Right, that was a good hit. Let's head over here. Try and take out Boulder here. And it doesn't do much, does it? Marshall Kwan. Ninety five percent. Good hit. And let's prepare with him. And there's Lucia. Lucia, come out here and shoot him. That didn't do a whole lot. Hawk is gonna go down for sure. Yep. Higgs is down. Um, Fascinating. Crap, we still have the case in our quick slot. Uh, I really want... A Molotov cocktail. Hit all four of those. Okay. And then he'll use a med hypo. And then he'll defend. Marshal Kwan. Let's try and take out Boulder. Good hit. Right, he's dead. Get into cover. And get into cover. And then he can revive him. Professor Higgs, he can use one of those. Okay, we really need to get a hawk up. Uh, let's see, uh, precision strike him. In the head, I think. Yeah, nice. And then we can shoot him again. That's him dead. Uh, they're out of range. Alright. You can 
precision strike as well. I think we'll do the head again. Got crippled or something? Uh, Marshall Kwan. We we'll just move up here. We'll do it. Man, it's getting laggy right now. What the hell? This is all the fire going on. Let's precision strike him again. We're going for the head. Not enough action points. Let's prepare. Then there's me. Let's get in here. And try and take you out. <sighs> we didn't take him out. Eighty-one percent to hit him, and he might hit the the guy in front as well. But he took him out. Let's defend. We'll see. Uh, you just. Here. Right, there are three of them left. Ah, oh, crap, burning again. Well, he's dead. Let's get over here. Over here, guys! Revive her. I don't want to run into the fire. Hmm. Ah, oh, crap, that was into the fire. Oh, we hit something. completely blocked off. We're gonna head into fire here. And here... Oh, we can hit. He's out of ammo. Not enough action points. Let's prepare. Lucia. You can't get close enough, close enough to get a shot, so you just stay there. You use the med hypo. And... Repair. There's me. Let's defend. <coughs> Jesus, what's with all the fire? Oh, that hurt. Okay, eighty-eight percent. Man, he's so close to death. Okay, you can't get anywhere near, so... Use that medic pack. And then get back into cover. Not entirely true. That guy is left. We'll defend. Defend. Um, defend. 
Ray's has been incapacitated. They aren't dead. Yeah, I know. To resuscitate them, you can find a doctor in the sea and have them by treatment. If you've got a nitro spike item handy, you can also use it to restore on. Okay. But you won't be able to contribute to your squad while in that state. Okay. So that's him. Let's move over here. Okay. Uh, let's get you up. Let's use one of these on you. Man, and who is who's dead? Oh, he's not dead. Uh, uh, we have a nitro spike. Okay. Alright, so... But, man, that was a tough battle. Energy cells, road warrior, and some money. Cryo grenade. Okay, throw to inflict frozen on anyone in the affected area, reducing their AP by three for two turns. Eight to twelve damage. Oh, nice. More energy cells. Another cryo grenade. Okay. Those local 168 twats were shitty tippers anyway. Okay. Fuser laser weapon requires four mechanics. This handheld device can repair targets at a distance. Fuser isn't scientifically accurate, but it's a lot easier to say than range chassis nano resin repair beamer. It sure is. Okay. We'll take all that. Man, our team is banged up. But we have three levels up, level ups, so let's take a look at that. So, attributes. I want more intelligence for you, don't I? Thing plus one skill point for every two intelligence. So... I'm, in my mind, that's every time we level up, we get an extra skill point for every two intelligence that we have. Or is it just a one-time thing that we get one skill point? Well, I think it has to be... We'll do that. Um, hmm... Cost three. No, because look, we've got four, so I think. Hmm. I wouldn't mind getting lock picking up. Wouldn't mind getting automatic weapons up. Let's do automatic weapons and survival and weapon modding. Yeah. Perks. We have the puncturing shot. Gopher hunter looks. Gophers like to stay in their holes, but that just makes it easier for you to take them down. Enemies have 25% less benefit from cover when attacking them. That is very nice. Barter, it's all on sale. You buy in bulk to get the best deals on the essentials. Buying multiple items instead of just one provides a 20% discount. That's actually quite useful. 
You never know what you're going to find when you take a weapon apart. Field stripping now has a chance of providing weapon mods. Okay, that's quite nice too. And then we have these. Quick slot, plot one, armor plus two, con plus 35, evasion plus five, or crit resistance plus 10. Spray and pray. Tears up enemy with twice as many SMG bullets as your normal attack, but has minus 25% chance to hit damage, 100% of weapon damage. I kind of like one of these two. Or this one. Though we haven't field stripped anything yet. I'm gonna go with the Gopher Hunter. Okay. Then we have you. That's nerd stuff. I want nerd stuff. Well, let's have a look at attributes. Um, big guns, awareness, coordination, and strength. Hmm. Oh, I should have... Um, Did I t take anything that... No. Good. Right, uh, how about you? Explosives 4 might be nice. Then maybe a hard ass? Big guns might be nice too. But we're going to go nerd stuff and then we'll go hard ass. Oh wait. Uh, confirm. We'll go nerd stuff and then we'll save that point. And over here. Awareness, coordination, strength. Strength is only four. I think we'll take his strength up. And then we have Prof. Please, what skills do you have? Weird science. I want his weird science up. Why are we hearing his heart beating? Is that just because he's wounded or something? I think I'll give him Animal Whisper as well. Yeah. So that we can get some animals with us. And then his intelligence is three, seven, so if we take that up to eight. Then we have an extra skill point? No. Okay. I'm okay with that. Alright, so Shake's here. We need to talk to. Uh, any luck? Do you have my five rhino and five focus? Yep, here you go. Getting it was tougher than we thought. We're going to need to get paid. Mm, he already owes Thank money. Thank you! You saved my life! It's just a little, it evened me out. I mean, that, that's all. <coughs> hey, what the hell is going on up there? I can't go two minutes without some mooks beating on each other. Okay. Someone was looking for a fight and forced us to defend ourselves. Stop letting psychos, we wouldn't have to put them down. You know what happened. You want details? You have a look for yourself. Someone's looking for a fight and forced us to defend ourselves. God damn it! Now I have to clean up another mess? We need to stop hosting parties up there. Okay. You come too, Seuss.
Uh, Zeus didn't get a level up, did he? Who is it has sneaky shit? No, it's you. 20. You need 20 XP to, to get to the next sneaky shit. Oh, man. Now, I really want to get into the back room here, but... I don't think we can. And right now we need to... I think head back to Doc and get him to heal us a whole lot, because we are... In pretty bad shape. Oh, man. I love dancing in this place. It's the best. But I've heard a rumor that there's an exclusive secret dance party up at Aspen every year. I'm for sure gonna get an invite this year. I've never been to Aspen. <sighs> what are we? If we go back to go into the back rooms, we're probably gonna get into a fight, right? With this Charlie Nose guy. And whoever else. So we can't get in there yet, I think. So we'll travel to downtown Colorado Springs. And then we'll see what happens in the next one, guys. Because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.